Mum had been diagnosed with Huntington's disease. We had never heard of Huntington's before then. I was in my twenties when I found out, didn't know what to expect. Me and my brother, uh, we both lived at home at the time and we both tried to start looking after Mum as much as we could. Uh, yeah, it's hard when you're in your twenties. It just is life changing. Massive. First, it met my husband when we were in Edinburgh. We met over a game of pool and sort of clicked straight away from there. And I just loved her accent and everything, everything Northern Irish I <laughs> liked about her. When he first came over to visit Northern Ireland, he was, he was completely fine with going to visit my mum in the nursing home. And that was amazing. You know, he just wanted to hold my hand and he totally understood it that, yeah, it was, I was in a difficult position, but yeah, he was, he was super. Yeah, she passed away and um, my husband, Ad came over on the plane straight away to hold my hand and stuff to help me get through the funeral and things. And ever since then, he's just been a rock. He's such a star for me. In 2015, I um, started work as an ultrasound technician in the Royal. It was my dream job. Uh, I loved every minute of it. The training required you to hold an ultrasound probe um, very steady, so you could see your uh, you could see to take pictures with the ultrasound. And um, the guy who was training me uh, realised that I couldn't um, like get a very clear picture because I couldn't hold my hand completely steady. And it's only when she showed me on the screen that actually she covered up my hand and I could see an actual tremor in my hand. And there was only a tiny one, but, but yes, enough to make me realize that I probably had Huntington's. And then, yeah, well, my positive world came sort of crashing down around me. I was only 36 at the time. Mum had been diagnosed in her 50s. I couldn't get my head around the fact that I, yeah, that was so er too, so early for me. Uh, but um, once I got my head around that, then I started because I had to live with it. If I had to live with this for 30 years, then I wasn't going to be miserable about it. Uh, so yeah, that's when I started having <laughs> positive outlook. I didn't want Huntington's to ruin my life. When I got my diagnosis, the next day we booked a trip to go skydiving in New Zealand. We wanted to do something just memorable and we'd done a bit of extreme sport before. But then we thought like, well, what can you do in New Zealand? And it's all about skydiving there. We were both very nervous about going up on a small plane. I was scared of heights. I wasn't sure if I could jump out of the plane or not. Once you're up in the sky, you forget about everything in, in life, you forget about all your problems. To put yourself through something like that and uh, prepares you for, uh, for other things. Hey! I oh, got you! Wow! How was that? Yeah, class! What's Starting a family, you have to think about uh, the future, obviously, like uh, is had it gonna progress or get worse and how quickly is that? But then you also realize like for her to have a sort of like a normal life, um, she really, really wanted uh, children. I think even if I can have like 10% of the energy that Heather has uh, um, to take care of uh, her child, then <laughs> I think I'd be very, very lucky. Even with her disability, I think that she's still gonna be a really lovely mom, <laughs> to be honest. Music keeps me happy, and uh, yeah, but I wasn't sure after getting after a few years of Huntington's, I wasn't sure if I could actually play the piano. But then um, so I did give it a go and see what 
if I could have a go at teaching myself Bohemian Rhapsody again, and I can play it. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> it's different, but you can, yeah, you can teach yourself to do things again. That's, I think that's quite important in the mental battle as well. Yeah, put two fingers up to Huntington. I love the surprises that Heather brings every day. So every day it's there's something new and you just don't know uh, what, what life is going to, to bring next. I'm just very, very uh, grateful for every day I got to spend with her. She cheers up my day every day of my life. So <laughs> that's basically why I love her.